And now, fight fans, we are set for our next attraction of the evening. Four rounds of the middleweight division. Introducing to you first, hailing from Sealy, Texas, USA, here is Luke Godfrey's McDonald. All right, here we have, making his way to the ring, Luke Godfrey's McDonald, five foot nine, 31 years of age, is being led to the ring. from his ring walk music from the live performer. Born in San Antonio, has nine pro bouts under his belt. His last fight was a loss to Eugene Hill back in April of this year. Looking to bounce back from that and earn his first professional victory here tonight. This will be his third fight of 2022, so you know he has been very active and ready. Luke McDonald, ready for action. And his opponent comes in undefeated from H-Town, Houston, Texas. Here is David Armas. And making his way to the ring, the undefeated David Armas. Five foot 10, 32 years of age. His last fight was a draw against Chris Pesero, and that was back in December of 2016. Holds a victory over Anthony Camper. I'm sorry, that was his last matchup, a second round TKO victory over Camper. David Armas, ready for action. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the fights continue here at the Galveston Island Convention Center, live on Clear Life Media Pay-Per-View, as El Tigre Promotions presents the Anglia Holmes Fight Series, as they bring you our next feature, four rounds in the middleweight division, sponsored to you by Stalwart Ranch, Chica's Cabaret, and Loaded Pistols Fightwear. The three judges score this contest at ringside are Randy Russell, Brian Tukamoto, and Nelson Vasquez. And your referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Alex Leon. And all five fans, four rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing to you first tonight, Finding out of the blue corner, standing with Alex Morales and Daryl Clark, wearing the white trunks. He officially weighed in 158.4 pounds. This evening, he steps into the contest for the ninth time as a professional, hailing from Sealy, Texas, USA. Here is Luke Godfrey's McDonald. And across the ring stands his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainer Charles Adams and Jose Vasquez, wearing blue faded with white. He officially weighed in 159.2 pounds. Tonight, this multi-combat warrior steps into the ring unblemished. Two bouts, one victory, one win coming to you by way of knockout. No defeats with one draw. Straight from H-Town, Houston, Texas. Here's the undefeated David Harmas. All right, guys, this is a little bit high, so right here we're good. We went over the instructions. I expect a clean fight. It's time to go to work. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our third fight of the evening. Full round, middleweight division. David Armas. Luke Godfers McDonald. 
And this fight is officially underway. Both fighters orthodox. Oh, McDonald lands the big jab, snapping Armas' head back there. Armas, also a mixed martial arts fighter, so his last boxing fight is coming off of a five and a half year layoff from the boxing ring. But you know he's been being active, as you see right there, an aggressive combo and exchange there from Armas. Fights out of Armas Boxing Gym here in, over in Houston, Texas. Man, these guys are both landing at the same time. Have taken some heavy shots thus far in the first round. Armas now bowling over McDonald. McDonald with his hands down, moving forward. That could be dangerous in this game. It's the hurt business, ladies and gentlemen. Slip there and overhand hook there. Attempt from Armas. Good head movement. Now right off the bat, these guys are just throwing leather. Armas now coming on strong. Takes back the center. McDonald now backing Armas up into the corner. Can he keep him there? Armas does a good job in working his way out. Both these fighters feeling really comfortable in there to have their hands. Letting them go by the wayside there. Big jab there that's snapping the head back of McDonald there by Armas. McDonald looking for his first victory. 31 year old fighter fighting out of Beeville. Nine pro fights under his belt over the two pro fights for Armas. But as I was mentioning earlier, Armas has trained mixed martial arts. Has a lot of experience under his belt with that. He's the coach of over 20 amateur fighters. So he's in the gym every day working with young up and coming guys. 32 year old out of Houston, Texas. Former Golden Glove champ. Looking for his second victory here tonight. So we have just under 30 seconds of the opening round. McDonald now really reaching for that jab, almost like slapping. Oh, both these guys throwing the leather. Adama's now with a big hook into the uppercut, looking to finish strong, just under 10 seconds left. McDonald's got a chin on him as we end the first round. And a shout out to our sponsors, Galveston Restaurant Group. They got multiple locations in the Houston area. Got the A&A &A Group, Perlin Coffee Roasters, Texas Pit Stop Barbecue at Mainland City Center, and Water Grove Event Venue. Seawall Church, thank you to all of them for their support here tonight in this awesome fight card at El Tigre Promotions here at the Galveston Convention Center. As we just finished up the first round of this middleweight matchup between David Armas and Luke Godfirst McDonald. Ten second whistle. Corners out. We're about to start the second round in this middleweight matchup. Both fighters meet in the middle. McDonald living, landing a good left hand there. Trying to press Armas. Man, these two are just slugging it out here in Galveston, Texas. Big right hand there from Armas. Going low now, working the body. Overshot that right hand. McDonald caught him. Now they're back to the center, man. These guys are just slugging it out. McDonald now, kind of cornered himself. Landed some big shots on the way. Armas still looking composed. 
Now there's a little bit of trouble against the ropes. Can he work his way out? McDonald now with a big right hand. McDonald coming on strong. How bad does he want that first victory? Curious if Armas, how well is he recovering from that? Is he letting McDonald wear himself out? Little bit of blood from the nose of Armas. McDonald taking control of this round. Has had Armas against the ropes a couple of times thus far. McDonald, this is his third fight of 2022, so you know he's came into this fight prepared. Has been fighting all year. Starting to see the wear on the face of Armas. Is the five and a half year layoff from the boxing ring a little too much? McDonald now on the offense. He smells blood. Can McDonald finish this fight? He's got 45 seconds. He knows he's got Armas in trouble. Can Armas hang in there? McDonald, the more experienced boxer of the two. Man, Armas is a warrior. And Armas is taking some shots, but he's still in there throwing back. And McDonald walking him down, holding the head. Just under 10 seconds left. Who's gonna finish stronger? McDonald landing the big shots, leaving an impression. Stay with us, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. We, we are at Little Daddy's Gumbo Bar in a historic district downtown in Galveston on 21st and Post Office. We're known for our gumbo. So this is very unique. This is where we make all of our gumbo. So for example, if you wanna get a seafood gumbo with no oysters, it has not been put in there yet. So you can kind of switch and swap out whatever you'd like. The pull boys are massive. Everything you get here is going to be very large portion. We have a great staff. Everybody's very friendly. It's little Daddy's Gumbo Bar. Pull me, pill me, pinch me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back as we are about to enter the third round of this middleweight matchup between David Armas and Luke McDonald. And at the conclusion of that last round, Armas was in big trouble as McDonald was coming on strong. Let's see if McDonald can keep the momentum up and earn his first victory in his pro career. Once again, thank you to our sponsors, Riando's Restaurante and T45 Fitness, one of our many sponsors here tonight, as we are starting round three. Once again, McDonald walking down Armas. McDonald has been a pro since 2015. Alma's coming back now. My goodness, and McDonald just walking through everything Alma's has to throw. Very unconventional boxing style for McDonald with his hands low. Big uppercut from McDonald. Armas is tough, man. He has just been taking a lot of punishment, and he does not quit. McDonald is one of the few fighters I've seen in his career just not care at all and just move forward with his hands wherever the heck he wants him to be. This guy rides bulls for fun. So you know he's a tough individual. Fighting the ring, probably ain't nothing compared to some of the bull rides he's been in the past, so. Probably even tougher than that, this guy's got four kids with the fifth one on the way. So McDonald now, once again, mowing down, Armas in the corner. Can he get a stoppage on this? Referee Alex Leon steps in and gives the TKO victory to God first, McDonald. Luke McDonald earns his first professional victory here tonight over the double tough David Armas. 
Third round, TKO stoppage from the referee. Referee Alex Leon with over 15 years of referee experience had saw enough, called off the fights. And I agree with that, that was a good call. I mean, Armas is tough, and yeah, he probably wanted to go on, but he was taking some punishment in that fight. Man, McDonald's a tough dude, man. Would not want to mess with that guy. Shout out to Pueblo Boxing, Loaded Pistols. The Seawall Church, you can catch them at seawallchurch.com. Our Water Grove event venue, you can catch them at thewatergrove.com. As we await the official word from our announcer, McDonald in his corner celebrating his first victory. And let's get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, here for the Galveston Island Convention Center. How about a round of applause for both of these warriors here in the ring? The official time comes to you, 1.33, round number three. As a referee, Alex Leon steps in and puts a halt to this contest. To the winner by TKO from Sealy, Texas, Luke Godfirst McDonald. And once again, congratulations to Luke McDonald earning his first victory here tonight. And as they wrap up things in the ring, we await our next match of the evening we have another four round middleweight fights as we got Jordan Julian taking on Travasio Talley. And hang on with us, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Texas Pit Stop Barbecue is now open in Texas City. With additional locations in Galveston and Lamarck, this award winning barbecue prepares you for whatever comes your way. Dine in, on the go, and catering. Texas Pit Stop Barbecue never takes shortcuts and always brings the heat. Work hard, train hard. I'm about to knock out this barbecue at Texas Pit Stop in Texas City. 